Okay, now is really a good time for me to utilize this bow vise because now I can take that four in one. I'll have to get my Y stick and lock it in over here so that it can't move left or right on me, or so that it won't move as much left or right anyway on me. Lock it in just like that. Then I can take my four in one and I can really start working this bow just a little at a time and rounding it off. And now all I really want to do, like I said, is round off any square corners that I've got. Now I'm doing some shaping on this bow because this bow is going to be more of a eye shape like we talked about on the whiteboard over there where the bow is shaped kind of like your eye that's kind of what this bow will turn into when I'm finished with it and right now all I'm doing is smoothing everything up to see where I'm really at and this bow vise while it's not holding it real steady side to side is doing a real good job for me and hold it still to where I can stand up and work on it like this and get a good bite with this rasp. And I want to do both limbs like this and I want to round off the front of this bow as well and this will help you sometimes see areas that you didn't see when you were working on it with your axe well you really need to take a little bit of extra meat off and it's thicker you know it's a little thick right here so I'll just take this rasp and knock some of that off while I'm sitting here because anything I take off this thing now and I remove any material it's making this limb weaker the more material I remove the more material that I remove the weaker this limb is going to get so I've got to be really careful at this point like I said but right now, I can't even draw this thing with paracord on it to a full draw with no brace height. So we got plenty of strength in these limbs right now. So we'll get this done. We'll get back to you. This uh, four-in-one tool, man, you can really start to do some shaping on that bow. Get that thing rounded off and looking nice. Get rid of some of your axe marks you've got in there. For the time being, just smooth it up and make it really look start to look nice. And when you get to the point where you get this on the tillering tree, you can just rasp away areas that you need to take meat off of the bow. We'll talk about that when we get this on the tillering tree. But these four in one tools are definitely worth carrying. Like I said, I mean, you can sharpen your axe with this. Just bang it out. If you get the thing filled up with crap, you've got a curved rasp on here, you got a flat rasp, you got a curved file, and you got a flat file. These four in ones are great tools to carry for bushcrafting and for making tools like your bow in the woods. That's why I always say I would take tools over anything else because with tools I can make anything else. I'm just kind of going in a kind of a curved fashion here just to keep this bow limb curved like I said I was going to do there keep it in the shape of an eye basically depending on how I put it in this vise I can get better leverage on it from different angles that's the great thing about this woodland vice it's real easy to get the bow pinned in here 
where you can really get some leverage down on top of it to do your work. That four and one. I'm just starting to get tired here. Time to take a break. Okay, now, one of the other things that we got to accomplish while we're over here doing this is we've got to get rid of all these saw marks that are left in here from where we, from when we actually cut this stave down. So we'll take this opportunity now, and again, we're removing material, so we're making our limbs weaker when we do this. That's why we didn't start this process, you know, after we had it tillered. We started this process while it was still way too hard for us to pull it back and draw to even put it on a tillering rack. So now, we can get rid of all of that on both limbs while we are rounding them off. You can see we still got some on this side we got to get rid of too. We can accomplish that as we're rounding our edge over on the top of our bow. Like I said, square corners are weak corners. Round corners are stronger. So that's what we want. We want this bow to be rounded when we're done. Kind of like in the shape of an eye, like I showed you on the board. Now, when I'm going to work this front face for this bow, I'm actually going to turn this bow on its side and round this over and just bevel over the face of that bow all the way down and depending on how I put it in that vise again obviously will dictate the pressure we can put on this bow and where we can put pressure at so now I'm actually rounding off the back of the bow now I don't want to take any material off the back face of the bow all I'm doing now at this point is taking material off the very outer edge and rounding it over to get a rounded shape. And we got a knot right here in this limb that we're going to have to work with a little bit. There's a knot right here and that's going to give us some good character. But it's also something we kind of have to be careful with in the tillering process because that limb's going to be quite a bit stronger or not bend quite as easy right where that knot's at. So we'll look at that careful when we get it on the tillering tree here in a few minutes. See what that's going to do to us. Okay, now, while I'm on this part here is when I'm going to take advantage of it and do some rounding on my handle area. Get that locked in there a little bit better. Yeah, I kind of want to show you where we're at here. We've got our bow pretty well shaped in. You can see there's our handle area. And there's our limb and knock area down here. And this is our other limb. And we've got it fairly well shaped in now. So now we need to check our tiller, see what it looks like after we've done all this filing. I can see a couple areas maybe on here that might need a little bit of a touch up as far as the tiller goes. but. We're gonna find out here real quick and take a look at her on the map. Let's see what we got here. Oh yeah, that looks good. That's flexing a lot better now. Let's see what this side looks like. Okay. Now this is the tricky part, see, because you got reflex right here. So this actually has to flex down at the same time that's flexing. And that looks pretty good. Don't look too bad. Same thing here, this has to flex. And it is. That tip might be just a little bit stiff, 
Might need to take a little bit of meat off right here, actually, I'm thinking. So let's go over and do that real quick before we put this on the tree. Okay, let's try to look at this center line on this bow again with a string on it. You see, it's all the way over to the right-hand side of this limb, basically. Then it comes up right to left center in the grip and then over to the left at the upper limb. So we're pretty well centered on what we've got for a bow. See what she looks like on the tree.